What graphics cards do we need for future games for the next five years? Well, a, a AAA game, There's, everything. For future games? Esports. None. I you mean, can't buy a video card for five years. No, you can't. Um, let me put it this way. What video card was the top of the line five years ago? If you had to guess. Uh, five years ago. Ooh. And Chad will tell you if you can't think of it. 980 Ti? Damn, I'm proud of her. Should I tell Chad? I am fracking proud of you. A 980 Ti five years ago. Honey? Yes. I am legit impressed. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You are amazing. Thank you. So. Calvin says as of 15 years ago, most of them are still nasty. I'm sure they are. Uh, they didn't test a 980 Ti in here, did they? Oh, crap. They didn't. Um, uh, well, darn it. I was going to see what I was going to do is I was going to show this chart and show you guys a 980 Ti, but there is no 980 Ti in oh, here. Oh, boo. Um, a 980 Ti is probably equivalent to an RTX 2060 in performance. 2060? So a 2060 is... But it doesn't have... How much VRAM? I'll bet you it's not quite that bad. Same, 6 gigs. So if a, if, if a 980 Ti is about the performance of a 2060, there's two thoughts for you here. What resolution is this? 1080p. Okay. When did the 2060 come out? Two years ago. Two years ago. So actually 2018? only three years separate the 980 Ti and the 2060, not five. That's true. So... Who bought a 980 Ti in 2015 to play at 1080p? No. No one. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I didn't. I owned a 980 Ti, but it certainly wasn't to play at 1080p. So. But it's a 1080p card today. It's a nice 1080p card today. A 980 Ti is a good 1080p card today. But you didn't buy it that way. No. If you're buying an RTX 3080 today for $700, please tell me you're not doing it for 1080p. Because if you are, you know, there might be a few competitive gamers, ultra professionals that might, but come on. I mean, you know, I guess if you want super high frame rates, sure. But, um... 1070 equals a 980 Ti, almost exactly, Calvin says. Yeah, it's pretty close. And a 2060 is pretty close to a 1070. 1070 exactly. It just moves down each generation. Exactly. So, uh, give or take. So did you... If you're buying a video card today for 1080p, and you want five years out of it, okay, buy a 3080. But that's kind of a waste of money because you could buy a $250 card today and use it for two, two and a half years at 1080p and then buy a faster card mm -hmm. in two or three years. But upgrading every two or three years is cheaper than trying to overbuy for five. Exactly. Yeah. In that case. But your CPU is a little different. Well, the thing about the CPU is that overbuying the CPU today gives you a nice experience today. I guess the same is true of video cards. I mean, if you want 165 frame, 165 frames per second. Here's a funny thing. How many 165 hertz monitors have we looked at lately? A couple. See the resolution? Yes. What does it take to average 165 frames per second? 3080. It really takes a 3080 at 1080p. Now, we've also looked at 1440p. 165 hertz monitors. We have. Well, let me pull Tech Power up because they just obviously posted this. We'll go ahead and look at this right now. Um, coming down here. Uh, 
averages, averages, average FPS. Fourteen forty P. Even the thirty eighty doesn't average one hundred and sixty five. The thirty ninety just. Yeah, but that's stupid. That's fifteen hundred dollars. I mean, that's <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, it is. But look at the performance difference jump here as we come up. Look at the thirty eighty jump over a thirty seventy. Oh wow! At fourteen forty P. The thirty seventy is closer to a tw a thirty a uh, twenty eighty than it is to a thirty eighty. Yep. This was a seven hundred dollar card. Five hundred, seven hundred. But even then, see this this launched two years ago. Hundred frames per second, hundred and fifty five. It's not double the performance. Remember when Jensen was pitching that it was like twice the performance? Uh, no, it's not. What it is is it's double the performance. Well, of the ten series card. Of the ten series cards. Well, he even said if you're in a ten series card, it's time to upgrade. And sure, and if you've got a 10, look at this, 1070 is 60 frames per second now at 1440p mm -hmm. versus 125. It's double the performance of a 10 series. Correct. If you have a 1060, a 3060 will be twice the performance. If you have a 1070, a 3070 will be twice the performance. And if you have a 1080, but I would submit that the 3080 is worth the extra 200 bucks. It'll last longer. It'll be worth more in the future. It'll age better. That's what she said.